very good evening, everybody, and welcome to this post bench press conference with Yanaman Nalan. Um, as usual, I'd like to remind everyone to please keep their monitors muted and to indicate on the chat panel when you have a question to ask. Um, we'll start with video. Did you? Hi, uh, congratulations, Malan, uh, for your 100. Uh, you batted really well. Uh, you scored uh, 300s in uh, just nine matches. Uh, what is the secret of your batting? Uh, you have two elder brothers who are playing cricket. Uh, are they giving some support to your success? Um, thank you. Yeah, the us brothers, we always support each other, and um, I think it's just for me a big, big privilege to uh, play for my country. So every time I play, I want to use my chance. You, you never know how much how, how much chances you're going to get. So um, obviously, in the first game, um, new conditions, and you just uh, saw what all the batters did and what worked, um, and then you just try and adapt. So. Um, just basically giving your best every game and trusting your skills. Congrats, uh, Yanaman, um, on uh, a great century. How's the cramp feeling? Um, yeah, I was a bit bummed. I couldn't go out and field with the boys. Um, of, yeah, it's just it was just very hot and, and my body couldn't recover in time. Um, but it's all stable at the moment. Thank you. Yeah, I just need a good good rest day. Sorry, the, um, the, the, the measured approach that you guys had, in, uh, especially in the opening part there, where you and, and Aiden kind of just stuck to the five runs and over mark, and then um, you and Reza kind of just kept that pace going. Was that something that was discussed prior to, to this match, not to go too big in the first 10 overs? Yeah, I think we, after the first game, we did uh, adjust our KPIs a bit, um, where where we had our pockets um, of overs and our targets. Um, and I think that really that really helped. Uh, credit to my partners, Riza. That partnership, um, his, his input was very, uh, very valuable. Um, almost going out a run a ball. <clears throat> and then Heinrich at the end also, um, credit to him. Um, Martin and then Ken, reminded everyone, please, one question at a time, um, because we are pressed for time. So I'd like to at least get everybody to have one question at the very least. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Naman, thank you very much. Uh, uh, and congratulations on your century. It was a superb knock. Uh, just had one question. Uh, prior to the series began, Dashun Sanaka, the captain of Sri Lanka, said that uh, if you are going to defeat South Africa in these conditions, then we'll have to go ahead with the spinning combination. And today we had the likes of uh, Pravin Javirkama, Akhil Dananja, and uh, Wanindu Hasaranga bowling. Uh, what is that uh, did you guys do differently from your perspective to kind of overcome that uh, challenge of uh, uh, spin bowling from the Sri Lankan side? Yeah, I think I think our batting unit batted really well in the first match against the spin, uh, particularly. So me personally, I just watched what guys like Aiden did and uh, Rossi and Heinrich. Um, obviously, in the middle overs, the sweep was very effective. I think we can kind of trust the bounce and um, Couple, I try to play straight bat, then you get beaten. So, um, yeah, just took learnings from the first match, but uh, yeah. Um, Ken and then and then Talford. Thanks, sir. Uh, hi, Yanaman. Uh, brilliantly batted. Well done. Um, you've only played eight ODIs, which I think people might forget, given how how maturely you're playing. Three hundreds. Um, Apart from just your ability and natural talent, um, how do you explain such an incredible start to your ODI career? Yeah, it's it's. I think the more you think about it, the yeah, you, know, you don't want to think about it too hard. Um, and then, I guess you just have to break it down game by game and start over and just try, do what you got to do in the game. So um, I really don't know what to make of it, but. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, the aim of games to score runs and wickets in every game we're going to try. So, um, fortunate to have a, such a good start. Talford, Leeds, and then we'll finish with the 
That was a gentleman, very well played. Um, if you compare the two games, the first and the second ODIs, um, it, it's it's probably the bowlers, South Africa's bowlers, who needed to have a better game today than they did on Thursday. Um, what do you think made them have made them have that better game today? How did they improve? Yeah, I don't think they bowled like too badly in the first game. I just think we we underestimated um, how full you can go on this wicket. Um, they obviously like playing square of it. Um, but yeah, credit to the bowlers. They we started started great and um, yeah, they bowled really well today. Um, yeah, the batters the batters are in a good space, so um, it's good when the team when the team can uh, kick on both fronts. Hi, Yanuman. Um, uh, congrats on your knock. Um, obviously, a short turnaround to the third ODI. Um, uh, what will the conversation be um, for the next uh, two days? Um, you've scored some runs now. The uh, quite a few guys in the team. You got wickets. Um, is it just to to not get um, groot oog like in Afrikaans um, uh, and and go and try to to be too brave um, when when you go out for the for the third one? Yeah, th thanks. I think the secret. Um one of the things that helped is we had realistic goals and expectations where we don't want to have a, a one in a thousand kind of day we want to have targets that we can hit and if we hit them we have a good chance of winning the game so credit to the players and coaches for setting those targets um, i really think it's a good blueprint to have um, and then find a way to 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 get there uh, through the, throughout the game so uh, into the last game we're just gonna gonna try and Keep polishing, keep polishing all the more. We don't need to do a lot of. Hi, Yanaman, well battered. Um, I know you weren't in the field, but it's the first time we've seen Keshav Maharaj captain at international level. Uh, what did you think of, of the way he did things? And what was it like having him as your skipper? Yeah, I'm obviously sad that Temba had to leave uh, with what happened, but. Um, Keshav, he proved on domestic front that he's a good captain and um, yeah, he's a, he's a leader in the group. Um, calm head, very smart, very smart cricketer. So it's good to have a guy like that um, leading the team. So I think, yeah, he did great. And today's shows uh, in the field, they were good. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining us. Um, just want to have a look at the Ashes unfortunately, but then we will have a pre-match press conference um, the day after that, which will be match day minus one. So have a good evening and have a great uh, weekend further and we'll chat to you guys soon. Take care. Thank you, bye. Thank, Thank you, Kali. Thanks, gentlemen. Well done. Thank you, bye. Thanks, guys.